Welcome to NBA Jam! Hey everyone, this is Darkside 2K7, aka Sound Sky Chaser, and yes, this is another LeBron James video. I, I mean, this fucker can't even keep his goddamn mouth so I'm gonna be trying. So, what did he do this time? Well, apparently he pissed off a bunch of, uh, a bunch of, Apparently he got out in the skin of everyone who, uh, who is, who tried to act like a biggest, um, uh, you know, the biggest victim ever, ever, you know, and all that. <sighs> it's always, it's always something new with this guy because he can't just let shit go. So, recap, as you may know, on Sunday, the Los Angeles Lakers defeated the Miami Heat four, four games to two to win to win their 17th uh, NBA championship. This is LeBron James' fourth ring, and also LeBron earned four, his fourth finals MVP. Now, granted that granted that he that should have gone to Anthony Davis because he'd been putting in some work, but they had to give it to LeBron because, well, you know, now that's had to be made and all that, you know, he it pushed this whole narrative about him being the greatest ever, blah, 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 blah. He's... Apparently, he apparently during he, after he won his title, instead of actually being you know, how about it? He actually came out and said that he demand that he demands some damn respect. And I was like, the fuck? Did he, I'm sorry, but who the fuck are you? Like, who the fuck are you? Say you demand uh, de that you demand some damn respect, motherfucker, motherfucker. Res you don't demand respect. You have to earn respect. Trust me. Oh, don't worry. He's not getting my respect on if if that's because you know he gets that that shit in the bud because I ain't giving him that much respect. But I think but I think it pissed off uh, one of the, the podcasts of the Miami of the Miami Heat of the Miami Heat who is pissed off. I was like like seriously like this guy. I mean, you already won a championship, and what he said was actually true. What LeBron is doing is is a fucking dick move. It, it, it which is a technically a fucking dick move because it's like he can't even be fucking happy that he won a title. He wants to be pull off. A, he wants to be the biggest douchebag in the league by bitching about oh I don't de I didn't de I demand respect, motherfucker. You won an M you won. Your fourth NBA, like, oh my fucking god, oh my god, and also here's another thing that I also found that was pretty interesting. Um, former Golden State Warrior Marcus, I can't pronounce his name. If I don't, my bad. Um, hold on, let me let me uh check on that one real quick, okay? Boop 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 boop. boop. <laughs> I had to check on history on my phone. <laughs> your mama's a bitch. Your mama's a bitch. Your mama's a bitch. Oh, F. Tom Brady. No, oh, that's a classic. That's a fucking classic. That's a. Meditate with your screen locked. Start a free trial of YouTube. Yeah. Ah, here we go. X X uh Golden State Warriors. Mark Mark Marquise Spice calls out of the Bronze phony goat history. And what he said is it's true. It's like back in the day when he was growing up, when I was growing up back in the day, back in the day Everybody excel everyone um celebrates um three peats. You know. Three peats are like the biggest accomplishment ever, man, in the NBA history. The only team who can, the only two who managed to pull off a three peat, uh, a three peat would have to be the, the Chicago Bulls. I think the Lakers did it too. I think so. It's the Bulls and the Lakers that pulled off a three peat. Those are rare. But what he said, in the, but what he said, I actually agree with him. It's like seriously though, three peats are supposed to be the one thing that people are actually supposed to care about and everything, which is cool. However, but nowadays people are just celebrating. Um, well, pretty much everybody is now celebrating uh, winning, winning uh, four titles in in just in less than in 
in 10 years. Yeah. Like I said, LeBron, I don't care what people say. I would say, well, LeBron is definitely the, definitely the fucking, is it won four titles in 10 years. That doesn't mean a GOAT. I mean, he's never going to be the GOAT. I mean, he's a phony-ass GOAT. He's not the greatest of all time, but let's, but seriously, though, I mean, he will be the GOAT. He'll be the GOAT of, he will be the going to a, going to another team. That's what the GOAT is for him. Because let's be real, let's be real. Um... LeBron, when it comes to LeBron, he's not—he's not really loyal to any team, to any fucking team. He's nothing but a journeyman. And every time when he gets on a team, instead of him actually playing with the players that the team actually draft and have players that are in full development, who are trying to develop to become already big name to become uh, next superstars, he gets rid of them, and he gets rid of them and replace them with. With uh, players that already earn superstar status, and most of the t and most of the team and most of the players that's on that's that LeBron picks on his team are not only super are a mix of both already established superstars and a couple of and and a couple of ring chasers. Ring chasers. I mean, everybody can see that, man. Everybody can fucking see that. It happened in Miami. It happened. It happened in Miami when he went to Miami. He it happened to Cleveland when he came back for this for his second stint, and no surprise, it, it happened to the Los Angeles Lakers. The Los Angeles Lakers. I mean, I will say this: I do give credit. I will give credit to uh, Anthony Anthony Davis because he deserve. He did deserve. He did manage to get his ring. This is actually his first ring ring in his NBA career and I'm actually happy for him and all that but other than that it's like you you can't just make a team you can't just make a team be on a team and also uh get rid of the get rid of the players who are get rid of the homegrown talent and replace them with with uh already established superstars that's not how it works this ain't this ain't like Madden this ain't like uh Matt Man NFL, uh, old school man NFL, where you could just create a team, create a team, and pick fancy draft and 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 select uh, uh and select uh players who are already superstar status, or maybe or rookie versions of NBA or rookie versions of ledges. Y'all see what I did there? I I used the man 08 thing because you know in man 08, in man 08, um the last. Great man on the PS2, PS2, and somewhat in a really good game on the PS3 that I own. You, there is an option where you can play with uh, rookie rookie versions of NFL legends. I mean, it, it, like I said, this. But to LeBron, he don't care. And as and you know, as always, anytime when you talk bad about LeBron, you have people who you have his diehard fan base come out and. Um, and defend him to the to the ends of the goddamn earth. And it, oh and oh and don't oh and don't worry. I, oh and I and I and I got proof tonight. Cause every time when I make a video about how 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 I how LeBron is a phony goat or another state of his legacy, my video gets gets hit with so my video gets hit with with dislikes. I'm dead. I'm I'm not, I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. Look at the take a look at go, if you get a chance. Go to type in Sonic Sky Chaser, uh, LeBron. Another stain on LeBron's legacy. You can see how many dislikes and how the people who will defend this man would be like. I mean, they don't. Even, I mean, most and most of the dislikes I got off that video is for people who don't even watch the. You didn't even watch said video. They just put a dislike up there just to act like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll teach. That'll teach you to talk shit about my favorite player. Favorite player. Besides, and also, let's be real, all those dislikes, all the dislikes are that they just giving me is just proving my fucking point that LeBron James fans cannot handle criticism. Hell, they hell. I bet you, and I think I know the reason why he said he demands some damn respect. It's because, it's because he was salty that when his when he helped when he managed to get a win, managed to win a championship, it was. Championship for the Los Angeles Lakers, thus ending their uh, championship drought. 
Trout, he was, he could, everybody was actually, when everybody was celebrating, and then they was ch chanting Kobe's name. And there's, a, the reason why that, that is, is because, well, Kobe was beloved, and, and he was with the, and he stayed with the Lakers, through the good times and the bad times, and bad times. And, and say what you, and that's, and I think that's really pissed off LeBron because if you look at Kobe's resume in the NBA, during his NBA career, he actually, he actually managed to earn, win five championship rings. Well, okay, three with, three with uh, Shaq and then two on his own when Shaq left. And the, and the thing was... Kobe never left, never left the Los Angeles Lakers when the going gets tough, and he never tried to put together a fucking super team. So I think that's what pissed off LeBron James a bit more. It's just that, and LeBron needs to learn that you can't demand, demand people to give you respect. Respect is earned, not demand, not demanded for. I mean, it's so simp. I mean, it's so fucking simple that that LeBron just failed to real does fail to realize that. And like I said, I know I'm gonna get a hell out of hate on this, uh, what I'm about to say, but I'm just speaking the god awful truth. And the only people who just going to going to um, hate on this video, they're just gonna prove my point that yeah, you're gonna uh, say that oh, I don't know anything about this, about what basketball is. But what else? But I would like to hear your two cents on the whole matter. So feel free to leave a comment on this one. I just want to put this out there because, you know, you know, reason. Because, you know, I feel like LeBron James uh, is trying too hard to try to act like um, he, like he, that he's the only player that, that people should, should give the respect to. Yeah. So we're just going. So we want to give you respect, while but not give uh like, like Anthony Davis respect, because you know he's been putting his he put some work in this, in in the series, and in, and without him, y'all you wouldn't even make it, wouldn't even uh make it. But as I said, you leave a comment and tell me what y'all think. As always, be sure to leave a comment, like this video. Subscribe to this channel and I will see y'all next time. Until next time, this is Darkside 2K7, aka Sonic Sky Sacer, and I will see y'all again. Thank you for watching this. Thank you for watching this video. Have a blessed day. Dark Sonic Sky Sacer out. Yeah. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out.